Today's topic is pain after obturation. This is a query usually a general dentist asks. As they describe, in first visit, root canal access was done, followed by biomechanical preparation. After that, an intracanal medicament dressing of calcium hydroxide was given. All went well, symptoms got relieved, and patient scheduled for obturation. Obturation done, but the very next day, problem starts. Patient complains of slight pain on biting, and on clinical examination, tenderness on percussion was found. This usually upsets the clinician and raises a doubt that what went wrong. Answer is simple. The issue is as usual with the biomechanical preparation. Either it is width of preparation or apical extent of biomechanical preparation. Sometimes continuous injury to parent ligament by extended GP can also lead to tenderness. But the point is why it was not there at time of obturation and suddenly appeared after obturation. One possible reason is when calcium hydroxide is in the canal, it has antibacterial effect and along with there is some space for reception of periapical exudate in canal. So pressure releases somehow and no pain felt in spite of some inflammation. But after obturation, canal completely get blocked by GP which creates a pressure buildup situation and initiates symptoms. Another reason behind this may be antibiotic coverage prophylactically we give during the treatment which presses the symptoms. So basically this pain after obturation is either because of consistent low grade infection in canal because of insufficient BMP or it may be because of injury to parental ligament during root canal treatment. So how to manage this? If you feel that you have done justice with preparation, you can wait for a week to get the inflammation settled. Meanwhile, you can prescribe anti-inflammatory drugs. But if pain persists, remove the gutta percha and prepare the canals again. Sometimes we push ourselves to reach radiographic apex and in due course, we keep injuring the parental ligament again and again. This hampers the healing and pain continues. Use apex locator to finalize the working length. Once you are sure that pain is not because of insufficient BMP and it is because of injury to PDL, then you can use this product Chrysophin from Septodent, a steroidal intracanal medicament, just to soothe the parental ligament. But don't use it regularly as it can induce resorption in some cases. Sometimes a long-standing tenderness becomes a headache for clinicians. This case referred to me from one of my friends. It looked simple, but it checked my patients a lot. Previous dentist did root canal treatment twice. He even obturated mesobuccal canal 2 also, that is MB2. But tenderness was there for long. Metapex works like magic in such situations. Keep tooth free from occlusion. Thoroughly irrigate the canals with hypochlorite. Use apex locator to avoid any kind of injury to periapex and give metapex dressing for 3 weeks. Why metapex? If you call patient every week to change the medicament, then there are chances of injury to parental ligament. But metapex remain there for 3 weeks and this, this way you can avoid the injury. One more thing, don't use mirror handle to check tenderness. You can use gentle pressure with finger to check tenderness. Avoid any kind of unnecessary injury to parental ligament. It took me around two months to completely remove the tenderness in this case. So patience is key to endontics. Thank you.